Arriving at McMaster in 1981, Nick Cipriano joined the School of Physical Education and Athletics, serving as both a faculty member and as the varsity wrestling coach. The immense impact he had on the wrestling program was almost immediate, as by 1985, Coach Cipriano had guided McMaster to its first national championship. Under his direction, McMaster Wrestling became one of the premier programs in Canadian inter-university sport and was always a contender on both the provincial and national stages. Nick saw McMaster capture another national championship in 1994, and along the way he has seen the Marauders bring home five Ontario banners, including winning the OUA championship in 2015. From his positions in the Department of Kinesiology and on the wrestling mat, Cipriano has watched McMaster Athletics evolve from very humble beginnings with almost no facilities into one of the most successful departments in Canada and the home of world-class training facilities. And we know those differences. We know that there's now a support staff of medical staff and, and uh, strength coaches and all kinds of things like that. Those were unknowns or they, they were known but we certainly didn't have access to them back in the early 80s. Uh, but there are things that haven't changed. The kids that we coach today are very similar to the kids that we coached in 82, 83, 84. Uh, come September, they all have the same level of enthusiasm, the same level of optimism. They're all very much goal-oriented. They want to do well in sport, but they also want to do well academically. So we, we attracted a good balanced student in the 80s, and we attract a good balanced student athlete in 2015. So while things have changed, the prime ingredient has really stayed the same, which is people. While his coaching expertise contributed to the Canadian national team at three Olympic Games in 1988, 1992, and 1996, as well as the Pan Am Games, Commonwealth Games, and at the World Championships, it is a McMaster moment that stands out over time. I have been to three Olympics, uh, which was probably the highlight uh, of my career, but probably the most important match that I hold most fondly in my mind is the match between Chris Whitcroft and a fellow from Concordia University at our 1985 national championships right in our own gymnasium here. Uh, in that particular match, Chris was winning by a score of 10-0, en en route to winning a gold medal, and uh, something terrible happened and he ended up losing that match, got pinned. So what I took from that match was you can never take things for granted and you wrestle till the last possible second. And that one episode kind of shaped my outlook and it shaped my coaching philosophy from that point on. So that one incident is really kind of a highlight for me uh, above and beyond everything else. Over his 34-year varsity coaching career, Cipriano has been recognized as the OUA Coach of the Year on six occasions and has been named the CIS Coach of the Year four times. The legacy he leaves behind is massive, but his philosophy ensures a bright future for McMaster Wrestling. A very important theme that we worked with over the past couple of years is that people have to conceive the impossible before they can achieve it. And what that really means is that you have to envision yourself being a champion, being the winner. And very few people are able to do that. And I think that if you have a supportive coach who kind of reminds you all the time to conceive the impossible, then you can actually do it. It doesn't mean that you're going to be the champion. It means that you have to conceive accomplishing something that is beyond you. Strive for a breakthrough performance, and then you will never be disappointed in the outcome. In recognition of 34 years of dedicated service as Marauder Varsity Wrestling Coach, McMaster Athletics and Recreation is proud to pay tribute to Nick Cipriano. <laughs>